Drew and Kim, you just got married like a few, uh, like maybe a minute ago. I want to show you something. You didn't notice this. I had a microphone on the whole time. We're gonna do something special. Congratulations, we love you. Hey everyone, I have the pocket recorder that I recorded the ceremony on. I'm gonna pull out the SD card and open it up on my computer in Adobe Audition. And here is the waveforms. I remember the thing that caught my attention was around here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab some silent parts and get the noise out. You do this by noise reduction, capturing a noise print and applying it to the whole thing. That removes all the background noise to give us a clearer, cleaner audio wave, which will be important later down the road, as you'll see. See how that, see how it took all that and made it silent? All right, so that's the part of her vowels that I wanted to take. So I'm gonna delete all this other stuff that we don't need. Here is the part I want to create. From now, it'll be a duet, you and me. From now, it'll be a duet, you and me. Classic, all right. But I want to uh, make this a little bit more dramatic, so I'm gonna highlight it and crank up the volume, which is gonna give me um, some more visual interest, perfect. So I'm just gonna call this uh, waveform export on the desktop is an mp3 it's totally fine there is a website called convert.ing-now.com if you go to cool stuff and do create a waveform image from an audio file that's what we want here we go waveform export mp3 i want to select the biggest size i can foreground color i'm gonna make it black background color is um transparent that's it hit ok and it will create, it'll take this and make it an image, which is what we want. There it is. And there's our image. Save as. All right, now that we are going to open Illustrator. It doesn't really matter what size. We'll adjust that later. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and... Uh, Put this one in here and place it by clicking now and we're going to do a couple things to make this a vector graphic we're going to right click on it hit image trace there we go and then we're going to hit expand so here is our waveform that we want and it's a vector and now we're ready to export this as an SVG, export, export as, SVG. So we've gone from the wedding ceremony right here to a snippet, which is the waveform. We've made an image based on that waveform, and now we've made a vector file based on that waveform. And that we will take into easel, as you can see. But I will show you how I created that. And um, it's going to be at a walnut, but just for the sake of seeing it, we'll do it out of this birch just so you can see it. And I know it's going to be an inch thick, and it'll be probably five and a half. Um, actually, the Y will be five and a half. And the width, let's call it 18 inches. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is import SVG and here we go pretty cool so that looks like about right I'm gonna go to edit center to material pretty cool and what I want to do there we go I want a line that goes all the way through this
and we're gonna do all this at um, an eighth of an inch depth and center to material and right click send to back bam and then we're gonna make this 0.125 an eighth of an inch we don't need it that that deep there we go so this whole line with the waveform is going to be an eighth of an inch into our material as you can see here let me just size it down center on material so that's how you take an audio file maximize it to where you get a visual export it bring it to a website like this convert it to an image take that image into illustrator make it into an svg and then put that into easel or a similar program where you can cut it on a cnc